straight away. Is it just kind of a stack up effect? Like was one of them got on the brakes and it's kind of forced. Yeah, look at Tony Stewart just missing this crash. Man, here's where it really gets gets exciting. Man, we talked about that there's nowhere to go as you come off of these corners, and when something like this happens, you you really have you make a commitment and you've got one opportunity really to miss this wreck. Tony Stewart did a great job. Some others got caught up in. Let's drive along with Tony Stewart here. See it develop right in front of him. He actually got into the back of the pony as he checked up. No, it's going to be bad right here when he comes up in front of traffic. Reach Orange and makes the impact. Scott Steve got a piece of it also. The car is actually going backwards when it starts to lift up and go over and begin to tumble. Yeah, it's just being pushed, and as he kind of dug in a little bit and it was uh, continued to get pushed there, that's what got it up and rolling. And you hear what you were talking about how high the banks are here. You see he's just tumbling down that bank. There's so much height difference right there from the top of the bank down to the apron. Three stories, the difference between the top and the bottom, 24 degree height. Goes side over side over side, a violent impact, and the good news that uh, this new car that NASCAR brought on about three years ago, and the driver able to walk away uh, and walk into the ambulance. A violent